The purpose of the chemistry study is to evaluate the health of the Arcade Creek by conducting several different tests to measure the concentration of chemicals present in the water. Monitoring these chemical levels is vital in determining the creek's ability to support life. During the collection procedure, samples are collected at the creek, which are later tested for a variety of factors. These tests include dissolved oxygen, nitrates, phosphates, hardness, chlorine, ammonia, and alkalinity. The majority of the tests take place in the lab, however, the dissolved oxygen test must be performed on-site for the best results. This video will outline the procedures for two of the most important tests performed by the study. The dissolved oxygen test is one of the primary tests that chemistry performs. The purpose of this test is to measure the creek's ability to support life by testing for atmospheric oxygen mixed in the water. To perform this test, you will require the DO kit. This kit should include a bottle and stopper, a square beaker and glass test tube, thermometer, and nail clippers, along with the following chemicals. Dissolved oxygen 1 reagent, dissolved oxygen 2 reagent, dissolved oxygen 3 reagent, powder pillows, and a bottle of sodium thiosulfate. Fill up the dissolved oxygen bottle completely with sample water. Avoid getting any bubbles or debris in the bottle of sample water. Quickly insert the glass stopper into the bottle while inclining it slightly. Make sure there are no air bubbles in the sample. If there are, the sample water must be discarded and the procedure must be restarted. Remove the stopper and add the contents of one dissolved oxygen one reagent and one dissolved oxygen powder pillow. Replace the stopper in the bottle carefully to avoid trapping air bubbles. If there are air bubbles, discard the sample and start over. Shake the bottle vigorously to mix the reagents until flocculent or flock starts to form. Wait for the flock to settle below the halfway mark of the bottle. After this, continue to shake vigorously and then wait again for the flock to settle below the halfway mark. Remove the stopper and open the DO2 packet using the clippers. Add the contents of one dissolved oxygen reagent to, and then stop the bottle. Make sure there are no air bubbles trapped in the sample. Shake the bottle vigorously one more time until the water turns dark yellow. Pour the sample water from the bottle into the glass test tube until it is full. Then pour the contents of the test tube into the square beaker. Add drops of sodium thiosulfate until the contents of the beaker become clear. The number of drops it takes for the sample water to become clear is the amount of dissolved oxygen in the water in milligrams per liter. The effects of nitrates on an aquatic ecosystem are similar to those of phosphates. Excess amounts of nitrates can cause algal bloom which results in diminished dissolved oxygen and a less suitable environment for life. The equipment required for this test is as follows. Color viewing tubes, stoppers, Nitrover 3 reagent powder, color comparator. The Hawk kit is primarily used for this test, while the Pasco kit should serve as only a backup. Fill two viewing tubes with water, one with the creek water to be tested, and one with regular water. Pour the contents of one Nitrover 3 nitrate reagent powder pillow into the creek water. Cap the tube, shake, and allow for between 10 to 15 minutes before proceeding. Place the creek water tube into the clear side of the color viewing tube and the distilled water behind the color wheel. Hold the viewing tube up to a light source and try to match the colors. Remember to run QAQC by having another member of your field check your results.
This is just a brief look into the activities of the chemistry study. Along with dissolved oxygen and nitrates, this study performs five other tests that include phosphates, hardness, chlorine, ammonia, and alkalinity. Safety is of the utmost importance when performing these tests. The chemistry study is one of the teams that make up the Arcade Creek project, which works towards monitoring the health of the Arcade Creek and restoring its natural habitat.